Hey everybody, Jason here from Rhino Tough Tanks. In this video, we're going to look at secondary containment options within the Rhino Tough Tanks family of products. Now, secondary containment is not required on a national level for single wall tanks holding Class 3B liquids as they're considered to be within the lowest risk category. However, Various local and regional regulations may opt to include secondary containment within their control measure requirements. Now, although the exact verbiage may differ slightly among jurisdictions, the general rule is secondary containment must be able to contain 110% of the largest tank in a system. Now, check with your local inspector to determine what is required in your area. Now, in the case that you're required to include secondary containment with your tank system, here's a quick guide on how to determine which one you'll need. The RTT4042 is a thermoform tub that has a 150 gallon capacity, and it can be used with systems including up to a 120 gallon tank. Now, the RTT4040 is a rotationally molded tub that has a 203 gallon capacity, it can be used with systems including up to a 180 gallon tank. Now it's unique in its design is that it's got an integrated drip tray trough that's molded directly into the tub. The RTT4043 is a thermal form tub that has a 300 gallon capacity. It can be used with systems including up to a 225 gallon tank. Now the footprint of this design is that it allows two systems to be placed side by side and still accommodates the capacity requirements. The RTT4041 is a rotationally molded tub that has a 360 gallon capacity. It can be used with systems including up to a 310 gallon tank. Now due to the 42 inch tall wall height, fluids will need to be dispensed via a pump system as opposed to gravity. So if you find yourself needing to add secondary containment, I hope this clarifies how to go about choosing the correct one for your system. For more information, check out our website, www.rhinotoughtanks.com.